G'day, welcome back to DCTC and C. My name's Aaron. In today's episode of the Masso's um, CNC controller tutorial, I'm going to be covering tool offsets you know, inside the Masso. Now, before you can cut sick and start what I like to say, spinning bits and ripping chips, you need to set up your tool library. First thing we need to do is obviously to turn your machine on, home it, get it all ready to go, and I'm going to cut the camera from here and go inside the control cabinet and uh, I'll show you how to start setting the tool offsets. Now once your machine has been honed you can move the table around uh, approximately where you need it to start doing your tool measuring. The next thing we need to do is get a clean rag and wipe the table down. I would prefer you sweep it first and then wipe it. It's okay if the chips are down in the well, they're out of the way. I'm going to spray mine with a little bit of uh, WD-40 or, or CRC. Now the reason I've done this is that it will allow me to pick up any dust or debris uh, a bit easier. And maybe move a little bit of surface table rust. Now, um, for this exercise, I'm going to be using the Edge Technologies tool offsetting device. Now, you don't have to purchase one of these. You can do this with a 3 4 block, um, 2 3 4 block, and use a piece of cigarette paper or something like this. However, this gives me a, a bit more accurate reading. Now, the first thing we need to do here today is to measure the distance from the spindle nose to the top of this setter when it reaches zero. Bringing the spindle nose down now until I touch the tool off setter. And there we have it. When we look back here at, at the Masso, we need to uh, focus our eyes where it says machine. Now these are the machine coordinates from the home position. So when I homed it, you can see I'm now 311 millimeters, uh, decimal of course after that, uh, from the X home position. And I'm roughly 89, 90 millimeters from where it homed in the Y. Now, if you look at my, at my Z, my Z, you can notice that it's come down 190.3 millimetres. So therefore, from the home position, the spindle nose is exactly minus 190.3 millimetres from the home position. You need to record this on your machine and write it down on a piece of paper. So our next step is to jog the head all the way back up to the top and we can do a rapid jog by holding down the shift key and the U key like I demonstrated in part one of this Masso series. Locate your tool and ensure that it's in inside the tool holder. I'm going to insert the tool into the spindle nose now and until it's hard up against the spindle nose and tighten it. So I'll come back to you because I need to move the camera to do this. My tool is now uh, safely secured inside the spindle and I've tightened it up. I'm going to jog it down now and I want to get zero on my height gauge. I just have to reposition the height gauge so it gets the centre. And now you can understand why I cleaned the table before doing that. Just in case I had any chips uh, lying around that would lodge themselves underneath my height centre. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Now, silly me, when I bought the Edge Technology height gauge, um, I should have requested the metric version. So I'll, I'm actually using inches at the moment. So when you see stepping point one, it's, uh, it's recording inches, not millimetres. So don't let that fool you. It fooled me when I started to use it. Uh, remember, to increase your step step rate, you either use the page up or page down. So I'm going to page up now to one mil steps and just go down one mil until I touch. Okay, I'm going to back that off now to point one steps and using my D key to go down again. 
and we're pretty much spot on the money there. Okay, so I'm going to pan back now to the controller and show you what you need to do next. Okay, so we're panned back over to the controller now and I need you to focus your eyes here where it says machine Z and you'll notice that it's um, my, my eyes are a bit blurry here, I should have my glasses on it's minus 99.482 you need to write that number down and record it for the tool number that you're doing now remember when I measured the spindle nose to the top of the gauge I got 190.3 now with my tool 2 in and jogged it all the way down till I got zero on the height gauge setup. That gave me 99.482. Okay, using a calculator or maybe Excel and a spreadsheet, you could make yourself up a table to do the math for you. Um, you can see here now that I've got a number of 90.818. Now when we enter this into the controller, we're going to ignore, I say again, ignore the negative value. So you'll input you will input this as 90.818. Let's go to the controller and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, to get into um, your tool offset page, you need to press F4 on the keyboard. Now, notice here in this, you can tab between using the tab key, you can alternate between tool offset and work offsets. Okay, remember they're two different things. Tool offsets gives your controller uh, the information it requires for different heights of tools which will be subtracted uh, and called up upon when they're needed by, by the uh, the program okay in the G code I think it's the H value in the G code now I've just placed tool 2 into the controller so I need to arrow down to tool 2 by using the down arrow uh, once there I press the enter key once and it brings up a little dialog box now I'm going to call this spot drill, okay? You'll notice that in default now, it comes up in cap lock. So I'll hold the shift key down because I don't want the whole thing in caps. So I've got spot drill here. I'm going to arrow down one now. And this is where I type in my Z offset value. Now remember, if you um, if you just call it up from the from the machine here, okay, which you can do, um, it will be inaccurate. You have to do the math, okay. So we type in. Remember, ignore the negative. Ninety point eight one eight. All right. I'm going to tab down again. It wants to know the tool diameter. So I'm going to back off here now. And I'm going to type in 6 millimetres, but I'm not going to type in mm, I'm just going to put 6.00. Once you've typed in the tool diameter, you're going to press tab one more time and it will highlight the save icon there. Press enter to save and you'll notice that it's gone up into the controller now. You'll see tool 2, spot drill, 90.818. You'll notice that all my values in the Z offset are a positive number. Do not put in the negative number. This works for me, you check it when you do it yourself though, okay?